Hey guys, welcome back to Technopedia and today we are going to review the XOSP ROM for Canvas A1. So let's get started. The XOSP stands for Xperia Open Source Project which means we will, have, we will enjoy the Xperia apps on this ROM. So let's quickly turn on the phone. Here's the boot animation. Let me just fast forward this boot. Okay, our phone has booted now. Here's the lock screen. Okay, let's jump into the settings first. Okay, here's the about phone. Here's the ROM information. The XOSP version is 6.2. Okay. Here's the current status of our phone. Here's the Android version. It is Marshmallow 6.2.1, which is really nice. Okay, let's see what else we got in the settings. This phone supports dual sim. Here are the ROM options. Firstly, we have the XOSP logo, which makes uh, the <coughs> logo appear on the status bar. Okay. Here are the font for clock and the date, as you can see. We have got so many options for the optimization of clock and date appearing on the status bar. You can also change the font size and font style. Okay. This is really a cool feature guys. Okay, we can hide the date also. Here is the carrier label, but you can insert any custom carrier also label. Here is the network traffic indicator. Okay. Here is the Viper FX audio features. We'll do a full review on this wiper audio effects and we'll see how it performs. Here is the display options, the <coughs> live display. It supports it supports night mode also. And we have an option for the automatic settings also which will automatically switch into the night mode here is the screen rotation option we have also got the 180 degree rotation which is really cool here is the car screen wallpaper, extended desktop Let's see what else we got. Here are the themes. We can install any themes from the Play Store as well. As you can see, we have got a bunch of themes over here. Currently, we are on the default theme, but we can customize it also. This is a really cool feature. Here are the notifications, you can uh, 
enable or disable the heads up pop up here's the screen lock pattern okay here's the live lock screen option currently no live lock screen is available so we will see it later on here are the lock screen shortcuts we can apply custom shortcuts as well as you can see currently i have snapchat and the dialer shortcut here's the battery consumption the battery is almost similar to the stock dome and we have the normal power saving option which we get on the marshmallow okay let's see what else we have here are the weather options we have to install a service for it first okay let it be as you can see the animation on the widget it shows it's 23 degree outside and indoor as you can see we can also expand it to see more details this is awesome here's the app drawer as you can see how, how well it performs we can search any app we want as you can see the search is really really fast Okay, Snapchat is also performing good. Here's the music app. One second. Okay. As you can see, we have the Xperia music player over here. You can customize it as well. Here are the all songs option. can see the now playing is also really good looking we got the shortcut on lock screen for the music player which is really awesome here is the album app as you can see perfectly working can zoom in and zoom out we got whole bunch of options here are the settings here are the folders here are the settings option you can choose a light and dark theme okay that's really nice here is the video app Yeah, as you can see it's also performing awesome here's the email app we have to set up it for the first time as you can see we'll do it later on here's the calendar app this also works really good Here are the Google Apps, the Google Search, Voice Search, and the Google Now Launcher. Here's the weather. You can search any city. As you can see, it's really, really fast in terms of performance. Overall the room is very responsive. Here's the clock, the world clock, stopwatch. Okay, 
mean, that's awesome. Okay. Here's the camera. We have this stock Cyanogen camera. We don't have the Xperia camera on it. We'll be very happy to see this in upcoming versions. Okay. Currently the file manager has been denied the super user permission. That's why it was not opening. Here's the dialer app. It's stock. As you can see, no problems with it. We have the screen recorder option app as well. Okay, in terms of performance this room is really nice, we can sort the apps also. This is really helpful, we can sort the apps according to our preference. And we can uninstall the apps right away from the app drawer. Here are some settings for the home screen. We can set the transition effects, advanced options. Okay, this is really really nice. And we can easily add the app shortcut from app drawer onto the desktop. We'll do a gaming review for this ROM as well, so stay tuned for more videos. Here are the emojis. Currently we have the emoji switcher, which is allowing us to have so many emojis. Here are the reboot options. And as you can see, here's the power of animation. Okay, so that was it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.